here it is, the confrontation, Walton and Gilmore. Gilmore, Keith Erickson, plays him as tough as anybody this side of Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Portland in their traveling dark uniform. What a crowd we've got on hand in Chicago as the Bulls control. Here's Wilbur Holland, he's 12, working with John Mingelt in the back. Norm Van Leer not starting because of the flu. Gross on a steal. Here comes Bobby Gross of the Trailblazers. And there is Johnny Davis with an offensive. Gilmore with the ball. Listen to the noise level, and we have just... Walton fronting Gilmore, not letting him have it down low where he's deadly. Here he is, coming up on Walton. He's got it, he was fouled. That was really some play. Bill Walton is, is playing against a very physical artist, Gilmore, here. Got completely turned around in there when he was trying to front Gilmore. He had to turn his back on the ball and get behind Gilmore. He had the ball down low and just turned around and put it in right over Walton. He cannot let him get the ball down in that position. Left-handed shooter, 3-1. Chicago leads Portland, just underway. Trailblazers with the best record in the NBA. Chicago with the seventh best record in the West, so they would not make the playoffs if they started today. Knocked away, and here comes Holland on the steal. Davis with that speed back on the field. Holland's got the field goal. Get him up! Derek Dickey, formerly of the champion Golden State Warriors. Inside, Gilmore's got it. Walton won't even contest it. Switch on the split! On Dexter goes to Johnson. Comes up on Gross. Chicago takes it down. Lloyd Neal and Lionel Hollins will be coming back soon. Van Leer. 31-29. Chicago eases to within two. Ramsey wants a timeout. He's upset. That's what the Chicago fans love in Chicago. Norm Van Leer hasn't been doing it lately. He's got to put that ball up to the basket. He can shoot it. Timeout. Ramsey got the Blazers over there. Meanwhile, it's Ed Badger, Jerry Sloan, and Gene Tormolin talking to the Chicago Bulls. Davis taking Van Leer at the other end. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Four points. Goes down now towards five. Van Leer wants one on one. Three seconds. Armstrong with one second. Tate Armstrong, their top draft choice, hits one at the perimeter. It's a two-point game. And that's three fouls against Lloyd Deal, Keith Erickson. So with Lucas home and Neal experiencing some foul trouble, you'll have to be careful as Johnson driving on Lloyd. Lloyd contested him that time. Mickey comes right back. Stays with it. Hit by Walton. Gilmore at the other side. Stops it home. 7-2. Artis Gilmore. Now oh, listen to the crowd in Chicago. We're tied. That play brought the house down here. Watch, keep your eyes on Gar Artis Gilmore down at the bottom of your screen. Mickey Johnson got two or three offensive rebounds. Walton blocks the shot. Now watch the way Gilmore takes this ball. He clears everybody out and takes it right to the basket. That's the strength of Artis Gilmore. He knows what he can do, and he does it. But that Denver-Phoenix race has great consequences as far as the home court advantage is concerned. Should they square off? Even if Phoenix doesn't win the division, they can wind up with a home court advantage as Wilbur Holland hits one left-handed for Chicago, and they go back to the lead. Holland's popped out, and Mingel came free for the shot. Neal over Johnson, Mingel to the glass. He took that one down like the former Auburn linebacker that he once was. 8.40. Johnson pulls Chicago to within one, 49-48. Blazers back on top by three. Johnson maneuvering, came up with a jump shot, it's one. Walton outside with Artis flying at him. One shot apiece right now as they go back and forth. World champions up by four and Tom Owens will be checking in soon. Walton playing with four fouls. Still trying to keep Gilmore outside as much as possible. Johnson hits. Now it's a two-point game. That's 14 for Mickey Johnson, who's been hitting about 30% the last nine days. 
It's also three in a row. He's feeling that touch coming back, and he's ready to start putting it up. Neal Johnson down. Rebound 15 off to Shepard. Behind is back to Mickey. Portland will call a timeout after that sequence. What a tremendous pass by Steve Shepard. There's the end of that play, the shot going in. We don't see Steve Shepard throw a behind the back left handed bounce pass. Now that's the fourth foul on Neil Keith. Walton with four. Trailblazers in foul trouble with the score tied and 335 to go in the third. Johnson waits for Van Leer to cut off him. Two on one. Norman back to Mickey Johnson. Up by two. Able to leap nothing at a single bow. <laughs> Superfan has just got the word from Earl Straub. Superfan, you stay off my basketball floor. You stay back there with the fans. Don't you take one step out there to question one of my calls. Who do you think you are? You don't play for Chicago or Portland. Now you take a hike, young man, and you stay away from me, or I'll hit you with a T. <laughs> Earl Strom loves it, folks. Here's where the Blazers can burn you. They're opportunists. And this time, Dunn turns it over. Now it is Holland back quickly off to Derek Dickey. Chicago up by one. Two minutes left to go in the third. A tough, hard-working player. Van Leer off now to Derek Dickey. Dickey hit about 70% in 1975 in that championship series when the Warriors blew out the Washington Bullets in four. He does have. I just checked, Keith. You're right. Van Leer gliding in. Soft layup. Went down in a heap with Calhoun on top of him. Chicago up by three. Lear. As he Russell out there for Ed Badger and Calhoun will watch him. Here is Gilmore backing in on Walton. Bill has to be careful with those four fouls. And Jerry Sloan, an assistant coach, a former great athlete with the Chicago Bulls. And probably Chicago has been keeping them out of it. You've got to give Chicago credit the way they've been playing defense today. Dickey into Gilmore, muscles up. and waiting. Now he puts it down. Left-handed hook shot on the drive. He's got his shot back. I'll tell you, that's how you can tell when a guy feels his touch back, when he throws a left-handed hook shot up, and it rolls around and drops in. And it puts Chicago up 74-73. Here's Walton up on Gilmore. Now by Van Leer. He's the lead man. Gross will hurry. Nice layup on the move by Norm Van Leer. Three-point Chicago lead. The Jackie Gleason Inverary Golf Classic is next on CBS. 76-75, Chicago with the ball on a one-point lead. Van Leer slipped around the screen. Walton jumped out, but Van Leer got the arch high enough. Back to three. There's Nancy Faust at the organ here in the Chicago Stadium. She's so pretty, they brought her down out of the loft and put her right down on the floor here. She's also the organist for the Chicago White Sox. Announcer by the name of Harry Carey made her a household word here in Chicago. She's a legend because of her. Mickey Johnson. Walton battling. Johnson got it back. Great hustle by Mickey Johnson. That is a very, very big play. Came right back up. Chance for the three-pointer and drew the foul. Watch this hustle by Mickey Johnson. Takes a shot way on the outside. Now watch Mickey Johnson in your screen. Gilmore and Walton tipping the ball. Johnson pulling it away from Walton, going back up. And Lloyd Neal on the foul, picking up his fifth. A big play. Five on Neal, four on Walton, five on Owens. Portland playing with eight men. What happens if three foul out? The last man to foul out stays on the floor and draws a technical for his last foul and everyone thereafter. Gilmore blocks the shot by Walton. Ball on that play. Good play by Holland. Five seconds, Mingelt. 86-83, 4.27 for the ball game. This is his 11th game as a starter, and the Blazers are unbeaten in the first 10. Gilmore backing in, Walton letting go with those five fouls. Three-point lead in 3.58. Artis Gilmore is one smart basketball player. He knows Bill Walton has five fouls. 
Takes the ball to the basket. Bill Walton can't get near him on that play. Four point lead by the champions. Badger watching. Van Leer coming in on Hollins. 2-11 left. Wilbur Holland off to Van Leer. Goes to Mickey Johnson. Johnson pulls it up. It's two points. It's 90-88 and two minutes to go in Chicago. Jackie Gleason and Murray Classic coming up right after this one's over. Here's Shepard, 136. And Gross backs right into Gilmore. So Johnson takes it outside and hits it. A clutch shot, 29 for the game. 92 to 90 and 130 to go. Right, the Blazers in command by five. Right away, see we go inside for a three-point play. You come high and get it, Mick. Hey, remember now, let the first guard go through, keep the floor balance, and quick shot at the QS who's looking down and score. You got one timeout left now. Pick him up, full court. Pick him up, full court. We need to score quick. We need to get a three-point play. Is that same situation. Only 15 feet from line. Doesn't matter if you're a veteran or a rookie. They're still big. Gilmore keeping it up. Gilmore's got it in with 105. Down and a foul call. So what looked like disaster for Chicago has quickly turned things around, Keith. There you see Artis Gilmore putting that ball back in the basket. Bill Walton getting called his sixth foul. He doesn't want to leave the floor. You just cannot let a man get, get inside on a free throw and get position on you. Bill Walton had the inside position. There's no way he should let Ernest Gilmore come in and get that ball unless the ball bounces completely over his head, which it did not do on that play. Well, there's the three-point play. Now the backcourt question. 95-93. Tommy Owens has replaced Bill Walton. He's playing with five fouls. Something on the floor. Foul. Big free throw goes down by Davis. In and out, Van Leer puts it away from Gross. Three-point lead by Portland in 52 seconds. Here's Gilmore again. Owens, Gilmore to the hoop. 96-95 and 48 seconds left now. 36 seconds, Blazers up by three. Here's Johnson trying to come in. Pull-up jump shot, one-point game. Last 32 seconds, 98-97. Chicago not surrendering. They pressure Gross. Shepard. Now they go to Hollins. Coming up on Van Leer. Cross court. They beat the time across. Ramsey says slow it up. They got 14 seconds. On the shot clock. 19 in the game. That's the game in the right hand corner. Up by a point. They bring the shot clock to five. Now Ramsey wants motion. Wants a shot. Davis had a block. Eight seconds. Seven seconds. Here goes Holland. 99. Four seconds, timeout. Portland didn't get a good shot. Ran the shot clock down. Steal at the other end. Chicago leads it 99-98. Cars I'm going to give away before this day is over. Oh, my. Here's Corky Calhoun. Four seconds now. Lila Hollins, Van Leer is there. Hollins outside. It's in at the buzzer. I don't believe it. The Portland Trailblazers have won it at the buzzer. Lila Hollins, Walton is out there. Hugging Hollins, no time at all left on the clock. Van Leer can't believe it. 